What's up, everyone? We're back. Dr. Maxfield. Dr. Shaw, and welcome back to our channel, Dr. Lee, where we talk about all things skincare and dermatology. It is that time of the year where everyone is slugging again. So we gotta bring it back to the forefront and talk a little bit about slugging because I am constantly on TikTok just getting video on video on video about slugging, how everyone does it differently, what they're using to slug. And so we're gonna do a little bit of a deep dive on slugging, but we're gonna start with the reaction video. So here we go. Here we go. So this video is kind of interesting to me because it uses a sort of a unique and I think sort of accurate, but we'll talk about this for a second. All right, so roll the clip. This is how I use slugging to get rid of blackheads. I know, crazy concept. Slugging locks everything in. Products work better under slugging. So use that salicylic acid, that BHA, on those blackheads on your nose, slug with Vaseline, and watch the magic. Okay, so let's scroll it back a little bit here. We're gonna talk a little bit about slugging first. So what is slugging? It's not a well-defined term, but the idea essentially is that you take an ointment and you have it as the last step in your skincare routine or the only step in your skincare routine at night. So you take an ointment, usually petrolatum based, rub it all over your face, and then you go to sleep with it on. And the goal is to really help restore the skin barrier while you're sleeping. Now, I actually think that this is a very effective technique if it's done properly. Right, and I think that's where we've been critical of this in the past. Um, there is actually some thought that needs to go into this before you do it. You have to respect the slug. You heard it here first, respect the slug. And the reason is exactly like Dr. Shaw mentioned, petrolatum can be really beneficial. It prevents 99% of transepidermal water loss. Um, and then it's like a really perfect balance because that 1% that it leaves behind is actually great for wound healing. Um, it's like just enough, but then, uh, it also can increase the strength of what you're using underneath it up to a thousand fold. And that's where I guess the cautionary tales and the caution flags go off. So going back to vehicle, vehicle is the formula in which something is delivered into the skin, right? So you have gels, lotions, creams, ointments, right? When we look at studies on ointments specifically, usually in a petrolatum base, they tend to be much more effective even if you give the same concentration of ingredients. So if we have one, ingredient, it's at a 1% concentration, but it's in a lotion, that formula is much less effective than a 1% ingredient and an ointment. And so you're gonna make whatever is underneath the slug more effective. I actually think the video is accurate that if you have blackheads on the nose, taking a salicylic acid and including it under petrolatum would actually be an effective way to remove um, these blackheads. Now, the flip side is you take an irritating ingredient, you occlude it, you could end up with bad irritation, burns, and things like that, which is why we've always been cautious about slugging in the first place. Yeah, I mean, I think we even rattled off a list of things we wouldn't occlude before, probably included things like retinoids, definitely exfoliators. Um, so it's something that has to be treated with respect. Um, my new phrase that I think I said in one of our last videos, like respect the ingredient. Now we have a similar thought. You have to respect the ingredient you're using the slugging process with because you could end end up really, really burning your skin and even potentially causing some scars. Right, and the reason why we slug in the first place or if I've told people to slug in the first place is to restore an irritated skin barrier that's been either damaged by the wind or the sun or, or something like that during dry skin conditions. And so I prefer to just take a very hydrating moisturizer, something like the CeraVe Healing Cream, CeraVe Healing Cream, CeraVe Moisturizing Cream, bland emollient, and then slug over the top of that. That way you're actually hydrating the skin and repairing the skin barrier, not occluding an active underneath it. Though I do agree that it would make your actives more effective if you slugged over them. Yeah, and the value of occluding a moisturizer, like when you look at the labels of moisturizers, it's not just the vehicles. So like Dr. Shaw said, you have different vehicles, in this case, ointments or petrolatum, but then you have all these supporting ingredients. So if you have some nice soothing ingredients like allantoin or panthenol, and then you occlude that, I think it really helps uh, just help those hug the skin and then do their job better overnight. Give your skin a hug, slug tonight. No, slug so, hug, slug hug. Slug hug, exactly. You're hugging your skin. You wanna be gentle with your skin. <laughs> I'm actually a big fan of slugging. This is how I slug. Um, this was even pre-dermatology. Uh, I used to do this. So it was cleanse, gentle cleanser, land moisturizer, and Vaseline. And that's what I used to do. All right, so now that you know how we kind of prefer to slug, which product you use to slug, right? Because there's a lot of options out there and you see many people using different products in their videos. So I think the main three products that you see people slugging with are Vaseline, pure Vaseline, CeraVe Healing Ointment, and Aquaphor. So let's kind of talk about the differences between these three, and then you can decide which one you think is best for you. So let's start off with the first one, uh, Vaseline. Yeah. 
so Vaseline, this is entirely petrolatum. Plain white petrolatum is like the divine one. It is non-irritating, non-allergenic. It is the most occlusive of the three types of slugging, but it doesn't bring a lot of hydration to the table. So it locks in the moisture that you have, but it doesn't bring a lot of additional moisture to the table there. This is what I would say is the least allergenic potential, your least risk of forming allergy. I think there's only been like one or two cases ever of allergy to petrolatum, pure petrolatum. So if you're looking for something that's just hydrating, I would actually say that Vaseline is probably the worst option. All right, so next up is the CeraVe Healing Ointment, which is like what's on my lips right now. I'm a big fan of it. Petrolatum, 46.5% concentration, so less than the Vaseline. It has other supporting ingredients that I'm just gonna read off. So mineral oil, dimethicone occlusive moisturizers. It has the three forms of ceramides in all the CeraVe products, which help to restore the skin barrier. But it also has vitamin E, it has hyaluronic acid, it has panthenol, which is also an antioxidant. Overall, I find that it is more hydrating than Vaseline, but less hydrating than Aquaphor, but less risk of allergy than Aquaphor. And we're gonna talk about that in a little bit. So it's like sort of the in-between one. So I really like it for most people. They also have a baby formula of this, which I also really like if you can't find the one in the dark blue bottle which is probably like right behind me, but I'm a huge fan of the CeraVe Healing Ointment. It's probably my preferred choice for most people for slugging. And then there was Aquaphor. So Aquaphor is not that far off in terms of petrolatum concentration. This one is at 41%. It has a shorter ingredient list. So this one brings to the table, which maybe I don't need to read it. This was, let's just, I'm gonna read it. Uh, it has mineral oil as well. It has panthenol also for soothing. It has glycerin, which is a great humectant and moisturizer. Sobolol, which is another soothing ingredient. But then there's one, uh, lanolin. Uh, and that's where the risk of allergy comes in. What makes this one a little bit controversial. A lot of people tolerate this just fine, but it is important to know that this is a potential allergen for some people. I do think by far, well, I don't know about by far, but very high, I think it's the most moisturizing of the three. And the reason why it's the most moisturizing of the three is because of the lanolin. So lanolin is an amazing moisturizer. It's not like fragrance where it has no purpose in skincare other than the experience. Lanolin is also a moisturizer, but carries risk of allergy. It comes from wool. And so if you have an allergy to lanolin, then you would want to avoid aquaphor. It's an uncommon allergy, but it definitely has a risk of allergy. So highest risk of allergy of the three, but most moisturizing of the three. So it's like, ah, uh, you know, kind of give or take there. It, I think overall is a really good choice for a lot of people and some dermatologists, especially a lot of the old school dermatologists are absolutely obsessed with Aquaphor. And then there's this thing I think we call like the reverse slug. So you can use these occlusive ingredients to put on sensitive areas before you put on irritating ingredients. So if you put on petrolatum here, and then use your exfoliator or your retinoids. It helps protect those areas from the irritating ingredients. It's another alternative use for the slug, another way to be creative with this whole, this whole concept. Those of you who know me, when I exfoliate, I put petrolatum or I use Vaseline or CeraVe healing ointment on my eyelids and then I use the exfoliant over the rest of my face because I have sensitive eyelids. It's really good as a protectant as well, which is why I also use it on my lips. All right, so that's a little bit of information about slugging. Be careful with it. Don't slug over actives, especially if you have sensitive skin, but I do think slugging is a great option to help restore the skin barrier if you're doing it over a bland moisturizer. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We appreciate you and thank you for coming on this journey with us. We'll see you in the next video.